I love science. Observing a phenomenon and then breaking it down, studying it, trying to analyze why it is the way it is. But here's the thing about science that no one really talks about. Science has one main fear. Science is afraid of something. Now this thing is pretty close to us. Science has no problem studying stars, you know, astrophysics, things that are light years, millions of light years away from us. Science has no problem studying subatomic things, things that are incredibly small, smaller than the atoms that make up your body. But there's one particular topic that science has been avoiding, it's been avoiding the study of, and that is the mind. The proof of the existence of the mind. Let me tell you something really quick, my friends. We have all of these phys physics studies, we have all of these chemistry studies, articles, these journal articles, but you know we don't have very many of them. articles on the existence of the human mind. Actually, we don't have a single one. There's been many studies on the consciousness, on what consciousness is, but we still don't know. We don't know what it is, we don't know how it arises, we don't know the parameters that are set before it to make it come to fruition, we don't know where it comes from, we don't know where it goes after we die, we don't know anything about consciousness, except that it, it exists, that it, it is the mind. You would think that this would be the first thing that psychologists would study, that they would have proof for, is the existence of a mind, but we don't. All I, we can tell you is, hey, yeah, you're listening to me right now and I'm talking to you, but how is this occurring? It's your consciousness. Well, we have no, literally no proof. I can't look at your brain. I can't look at your brain and say, oh, there's your consciousness. There's the part of your brain that's your consciousness. No, it's, it doesn't work like that. Now, I can't look at parts of your brain and tell you, oh, this is the part that lights up when you're breathing, that, light, that, that makes your lungs breathe. This is the part that lights up in your brainstem that makes your, your heart beat without you being aware of it. This is the somatosensory cortex, the part of the brain that lights up when you move your muscles. But we don't have a part of the brain for consciousness, for your existence. We don't have a, a, any idea on where it goes or, or, or how it gets into the mind. No clue. No clue at all. Science is afraid of this, you guys. <laughs> it's afraid. I want to help prove the existence of this mind, prove the existence of consciousness, and find out its parameters. So this basically comes down to two things. This basically, this is what this is what it all boils down to. Either A, we just haven't found out, we just haven't come up with the technology, the means to study it yet. You know, we just don't uh, have the advancements, the scientific knowledge to see the mind yet. Okay, A, and, and it's there. Or B. It exists completely outside of our laws of physics. It exists completely outside of everything that we know to be true and real. It's one of the two. I'm, I'm leaning towards A. I, I like to believe, you know, um, the law of the conservation of matter, right? Nothing can be created nor destroyed. Matter just changes. That's all it is, right? So, think about that for a little bit.